Two weeks before the attack, just days before Kabul fell to the Taliban, we were in touch with a senior ISIS-K commander who said the group was lying low and waiting for its moment to strike. Words that turned out to be eerily prophetic. So this commander has said that he'll do an interview with us at a hotel here in Kabul, and he says it's no problem for him to get through checkpoints and come right into the capital. To prove his point, he let us film his arrival into the city. Abdul Munir, as he asked to be called, is an ISIS-K commander from Kunar, the heart of the terrorist group's operations. He agreed to talk on the condition that we disguise his identity. In a Kabul hotel, he told us he's had up to 600 men under his command, among them Indians, Pakistanis and Central Asians. Like many of his foot soldiers, he used to fight with the Taliban, but says they've fallen under the influence of foreign powers. We were operating in Taliban's ranks, however, these people were not aligned with us in terms of belief, so we went to ISIS. Do you think they're not strict enough with their implementation of Sharia? You see, they can't present one example where they have enforced fixed Islamic law punishments, where they have cut off a thief's hand have stoned to death an adulterer, have stoned to death a murderer. They cannot enforce fixed Islamic law punishments because they are under other people's control and they implement their plans. So we do not want to implement someone else's plans and we only want to enforce Sharia. If anyone gets along with us on this, he is our brother. Otherwise, we declare war with him, whether he is Talib or anyone else. So have you carried out public executions, suicide bombings, things of this nature? Yes, I have too many memories where I was present myself at these scenes. One memory is that the Pakistani Taliban had come to the Nazia district, and during the fighting we captured five people. Our fighters became overexcited and we struck them with axes. It's that chilling brutality that made ISIS-K a primary target for U.S. forces. In recent years, airstrikes and special forces operations have ruthlessly targeted the group in Kunar and Nangahar. Has your group engaged in any fighting with U.S. Special Forces? Yes, we have faced them on many occasions. We had close combat with them, too. They used to land in Aachen. In Kunar, they carried out airstrikes. We have faced them a lot in firefights. Are you interested, ultimately, in carrying out international attacks? This point is higher than my level. I can only give you information about Afghanistan. With U.S. forces out of the country and the Taliban potentially in control, do you think that will make it easier for you to expand? Yes, this exists in our plan. Instead of currently operating, we have turned to recruiting only, to utilize the opportunity and to do our recruitment. But when the foreigners and people of the world leave Afghanistan, we can restart our operations.